Hey, what's up, nephew? Hey, nephew, let me grab my phone, nephew. Let me grab my phone. Nephew, let me record the video, nephew. No. YouTube here we go again for another video for y'all so today I'm gonna be talking about money and mental health money and materials cannot buy mental health or happiness at all period now the thing about money is that money doesn't make you happy money can buy things that make you happy but then when you go back and think about it, those material things do not make you happy either. It's only temporary satisfaction, instant gratification. You got to think about it, okay? No matter like how many external things that you get for yourself to try to build yourself up or make you feel better, at the end of the day, none of that matters. It matters about what's going on inside internally. Because nothing can control that. Nothing can control how you feel any in inside but you at the end of the day when you alone by yourself and dealing with your thoughts. Like the money, the money can only get you so far. And I know is that like a lot of artists and <clears throat> just celebrities in general, like they can attest to that. They can agree to that. And they say it so many times, but I feel like a lot of y'all still don't get it. Like, money does not equal happiness. That junk is ignorant as hell. Money is not happiness. It can buy things that make you happy. And I even said this in one of my tweets, but, like, it ain't, it ain't all about the money. And it's crazy how so many people... They just like lost souls and they just leeching on to whatever they think is valuable. But that junk is not valuable at the end of the day. Because, like I said, it can only get you so far, man. And I read this study and it was talking about how like higher income neighborhoods is usually um, more susceptible to mental illness or suicide or whatever. This is in the higher income neighborhoods, not the lower ones. And it's a trend that is being shown in Western society. When you compare it to second or third world countries, it's like you have everything, but you're still not happy because in order for you to truly be happy, your life has to have meaning behind all those materials and stuff that you have. And a lot of people, they feel like they're slaves to whatever they're going on, whatever they got going on in their lives. Be it you a celebrity or you just the working man or you a big shot. You got a big place in society as far as um, <clears throat> advancements and developments and stuff like that. Well, yeah. Everybody can sometimes feel like they don't have control over their lives or the things that they go through, but you got to gain that power back. And in order to do that, you got to focus on you. Just focus on you. Hear me out. Focus on you and you're going to be all right. So what's important is for you to seek purpose behind what you have going on besides just the money. But yeah, at the end of the day, like, all you got to do is just focus on you and everything else will come into play. But anyways, um, I'm going to have to holler at y'all later. Um, So y'all press that like button, y'all subscribe, y'all remember me, and I'm going to holler at y'all in the next video. Cash Savage, y'all stay true, 10 toes, 100. I was 18 with a pound of weed. I was bagging up dimes at the back of the bus. Hiding from me, going to dump my name. You gon' fuck around, get your homeboy touched. Going in the fridge, I ain't looking for a sunny D. I just want to.